everyone and welcome to X3 Albion Prelude, which is a DLC add-on to X3 Terran Conflict. Okay, so X3, what is it? Well, as you can see in the background, it's a space game. It's a game, actually I'm going to get started first before I explain everything, because it's a very slow game and I kind of, I kind of love the game. Yeah. I've been playing this game for a long while and it's one of my uh, favourites. Right, so you start the game, you have your, all these different options, these different start points. You'd be the Argon Peacekeeper. Argon's one of the races in the game. And you can basically be one of the members of the military fighting the war against the Terrans and the other possible hostiles in the area. We have the Terran Command. So there's a whole bunch of different plot types, even to the point you can be the bankrupt assassin or a humble merchant. You get different start ships and difficulties. And I must admit, I've never played any of them. I always do the exact same thing. I always go for custom game. I never get, because of this, I never get any of the stories and so on. But I, I know that you get bits of the story. But I'm going to go straight into custom game. And then we say, what universe do you want to be in? Uh, I don't know, maybe the X universe. Thank you. There we go. It can be played with a controller. And the controls are on screen there. If you if you have a controller, which I really love about the game. It's like, hey, you can play with a controller. Here's a controller controls. Uh, it's also showing the Xbox controller because I actually have an Xbox controller plugged in, although I will not be using it because I do personally play this game with the mouse and keyboard. Because this game is it's actually designed to really to be played with the mouse and keyboard really well. It can be, I mean, I've, I've played it with flight sticks, I've played it with the Xbox controller, and I've played it with the keyboard. I still prefer the keyboard. Argon, flight school, buster. Thank you, computer. So yes, you have a little friendly computer, and uh, if you if you can see there, this is the space we're in. And we have this little guy here, this, this one we're currently targeting, which is why and he's an Argon Flight School bus says here. So here's what we've got, some quick UI things to get started. But before we do, I just want to really quickly set a warp point because it's a, space is big. Yeah. All right, so autopilot is on. I'm just gonna do this while the autopilot's going because we can do other stuff. But everything in the universe is scaled accurately-ish, as best you can. So let me do a quick UI tour for you guys. Down the bottom corner are probably the most two important things. Now the current set's quite small. You can, I believe, increase the size by dropping the resolution or something. The options this game are immense. All right, on this side we have our ship called, this one's called Your Buster. And you can actually rename that if you wish. If you don't like the name Your Buster, you can rename Your Buster something else. By the way, let's point out that is where we're heading and look how slow it's getting bigger. I mean, look at our distance. Um, Gate, sorry, Perons, Nebula. that's that's it. I mean, North Gate is 19 kilometers away. Because, you know, we're traveling at 81 meters per second. We're traveling at space speeds in real time. It's not, you know, really short. It's not small distances. It's big distances over slow and 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 smooth and slow. You know, it, it's it's space. I mean, this is a space station here. Look how slow it's moving. Yeah, there also appears to be some advertisement board up there or something. But anyway, UI stuff. That is us. The blue bar is our shield. The green bar is our hull. The blue bar at the bottom here is our speed. If I actually slow down, autopilot off. we slow down. Uh, I can use a scroll wheel to reverse or scroll wheel to accelerate. If you hit tab, you full full throttle. If you hit break back, uh, backspace, you full stop. Interesting. The interesting thing is you spend most of your time in autopilot. Because the gate the space is big, <laughs> but the space is big. Okay, so let me just uh, explain everything. So this is like a space station. Image recognition production complex. And Alpha. every yeah, thank you. Every station has a purpose. There's no space station that has no purpose. If I click on it, it give me information. I can go information, please. This production facility manufactures image recognition class missiles. Yep. And the computer is very talkative, very talkative. Now, what we know here is these are the amount of stock they've got, this is the size of the items, how much space they take up in your hull, what the items are, and how much they cost. As you can see, we, because we haven't docked with the station, we don't know how much these cost, and the only way to know that is to either dock with the station or put a satellite in orbit, or buy software that lets you see prices. Those are your kind of way of doing it. Now, um, this station is running low on mosquito missiles, so if we were to buy them, they'd be expensive. And these ones are running a little bit high, so they'd be cheaper. So it's all about that. So keep an eye on the stock amounts. These red XLs means our ship cannot handle XL cargo, and it's too big. So yeah. So this, for example, this station, in order to make its good, in order to make mosquito missiles a silkworm, it requires energy cells, meat stick, cahoons, 
Is it Calhoun? Yeah, Calhoun is. Or, and Silk Weaver, you need all four of these to make these. So you can actually be the supplier or the seller, your choice. Um, the secondary resources, although they do get used, they don't actually seem to affect anything. And here's all the information about its defences. Its shields all... It's, it's got no production bonuses. Basically, everything you'd need to care about the space station. Also... Otas, energy transporter. Ships. The exactly Mistral the same. The freighter provides essential logistical support to the OTAS fleet. Like I said, very talkative. The game... If I ask you about a ship, this one here... Argon. Military. Discoverer. Autopilot off. Yeah, yeah, autopilot off. The Discoverer, if I click on that and go info... The Argon Discoverer, compared to other ships in the Argon fleet, is relatively young. It is armed with two... So, it tells you all about the ship Eight. in... Heron's Nebula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tells you about all the ships in detail, but just by clicking on them, it gives you a verbal reading. There's also a text version if you want to read it. So, I'm going to actually kill the autopilot one second. Autopilot And I'll stop. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do this for, because I want to show you something. This is the space. We started over here somewhere near that Argon station. Argon equip Argon and that stock exchange. Thank you. Um, so space is large. And give you an idea, this is the local sector map. That is us. We started there. We have travelled from that central point there to here in the entire time this video has been running. Yeah, space is big. This game loves the fact that space is big. Also, you see all the ships moving around in the sector. Yeah. Those ships are moving, you see there they are, they're moving, and it's just, that, by the way, that little light area there, that is our maximum scan range. There's so much more going on, we just can't see, because we have a crappy little radar. Look at all these ships, and the other thing is, like, this, the ship out here has a little light bulb. The little light bulb means it has some kind of mission. If I go comms... You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. I will. If I ask for this one with the little light bulb symbol, Toki. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I heard you're looking for help. I've got something that might interest you then. Okay, what's the job? You want the job. And you see the job. The job is to return a ship. A ship needs to be claimed and returned to the station. The ship. Retrieve, retrieve the ship and deliver the ship to the station. We'd earn 4,000, but we have 46 minutes to do it in. In reality, we don't have the time. Uh, keep an eye on these times if you've played the game. They can be very, very, very short. So 46 minutes is nothing, because I mean, you saw how fast we've come in 8 minutes. So, no thank you. Because it, I mean, it, it might not even be here, it might be very far away. So, pay very much a close attention to what you need. Okay, basic flight controls. Click the mouse and drag to steer. Or by default, the cursor keys on your keyboard. Whee! There we go. Very, very sensitive as well. Jeez, that's a lot more sense I remember it. You cannot go to the planets. If you fly towards the planets, you just get a re-entry effect and then you explode. So, you know, you cannot go to the planets there with just a skybox. It, everything you do is in space. Now, you see that little space station, by the way, has a light bulb on top to let us know it's got a, a mission, which we can do. Different icons. Um, there's light bulbs for research and reclaiming missions. There's dollar signs. I think it's first like credit signs. Herons, nebula. For um, economy-based missions. All that kind of crap. Now, the other thing is... If you look at this, this map, this is the actual universe. It's Argon Prime, and Argon Prime is made up of this. I'll explain all the keys in a minute, but this is it. If we actually go through this gate, we end up in another sector. And the game is made up of it's about 50 sectors. So, you know, it's it's a it's a big game. But, I mean, look how slow we're moving. We're, we're in one of the actual moderate ships, about 81 metres per second. I mean, the ships can do, I think, about... 150, 160 is like the maximum I've seen, and I've seen ships as low as 17. So, you know, space is big, things move slowly. <laughs> yeah. The gates are very much like Stargate-based gates. Um, when you fly into one, you jump to the next sector. So, uh, I'm purposely doing all this at real time just to get the idea of how slow real time actually is. So, we're just going to fly for the gate, and we're going to go to uh, Heron's Nebula, which is the next sector up. da 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 and through the what portal we go. So we're going to enter Heron's Nebula, and we'll be told that when we enter by the game. Entering system, Heron's Nebula. Okay, the autopilot, which I told it to bring me to the sector, is bringing me here. And it immediately takes me away from the gate so I don't get hit by other ships, because it is possible to get hit by another ship coming through the gate if you don't pay attention. Now, autopilot off. Thank you. Now, this sector looks relatively empty. We've got all these little things going around, and these little ships and stuff. And over here, we have a list of everything in our scan range. So we can say, hey, you Nova Vanguard, 
What's fighting you? Where's the shipyard, please? Set your waypoint for the south gate. Thank you. So I just asked them where the waypoint is. Hey, there's a, there's a shipyard in the south gate. We just came through from the south gate. So uh, we could just take turn around. Uh, full speed, please. That's now the, the universe map. We have Argon Prime and Heron's Nip. If I go to Argon Prime, there's all the stations. But we can't see anything. Only stored information is available, so stations and, and asteroids and stuff. Because we're not there. Also, there's a laser tower there that we spotted. Um, but we haven't been near it for a while, so we don't actually know what it's got. Laser towers are good defensive things. Now, the Argon space is extremely safe. But, uh, as you know, space is small. Uh, space is big. Look at this. I mean, look at, we haven't even found anything yet. This entire sector could have stations all over it. In fact, we are actually flying towards a space station right now. We just can't see it on our map. So, in order to make space not as long and not as boring, because, you know, it is boring at this sort of speed, the game doesn't have a warp drive. I mean, this, by the way, is an asteroid that we can be mined. Can you see the little mining station on top of it? Hey. Okay, and the one there as well. Now, the game doesn't want you to feel so bored and you don't can't do anything, so the game gives you a way to do it. Now, it doesn't give you warp engines. It does give you jump drives, which means you can jump between sectors uh, instantly, but they take energy, so you have to buy energy crystals, which is just a way to taper the uh, use of it. But the game does have what's called SATA, which is Singularity, um, Singularity Engine Time Acceleration, which basically is an engine on board the ship which accelerates the time of the universe... And when the time of the universe is, is, is accelerated, everything moves faster. So if I press J on the keyboard, you see there at the bottom, the set of drive is now active at 600%. So the universe is now operating at 600% of normal speed. And you can see we are moving a lot faster. That asteroid is now going a lot faster. If I turn the set off for a second, look how slow that's moving now. Now we are still operating at 81 meters per second. The problem is, Remember that contract from earlier? That said we probably won't be able to do it in time? 80, uh, 80 minutes sounds like a load of time. 40 minutes sounds like a load of time. But when you're doing 600% time, yeah, it's not long. So make sure you've got time to do the contracts. You can get fined in some contracts. Other times you don't, so you know it's fine. Now this thing here is... Free Argon Trading Station. It is a trading station from Argon that's for free trade. Basically, it's just a normal trading station. The thing is... I know something about this sector that most people playing the game initially wouldn't know. And that is... Oh, I'm going to head for the north gate. I want to get the north gate. This is the north gate here because I'm playing straight from south to north. I want to get the north gate on my radar first. But I know... Thank you. Set to turn itself off. That here, there are two stations for making early money. And also relatively late money once you get cargo ships and stuff. In fact, I believe that is one of them there. Uh, and probably that's one as well. But I want to get this gate on the map first. These stations are, uh, well, they sell, they sell something called Space Fuel. And Space Fuel is basically alcohol. But it's a highly illegal alcohol. And, yeah. So illegal means expensive, and expensive means profitable. Obviously, you can get arrested for trading in it, so, you know, don't get caught, basically. Um, interesting thing is, the free Argon trading station behind us, well, they buy it. So in the same sector where they make this illegal good, they also buy it from the Free Argon Trading Station. So yeah, um, it's an interesting little uh, dilemma the game has got. It's all like, hey, there's something illegal, but we also buy it. Uh, and gets you, you choose what to do. The thing about X3, by the way, is you can do whatever you want. You want to be a pirate, go be a pirate. You want to be a military person serving the military, you go serve the military. You want to be a bounty hunter, be a bounty hunter. If you want to be a trader, be a trader. Me, I'm a trader. Gate power circle. That gate goes to a sector power circle where there's loads of solar panels to get energy crystals, which are useful. However, we're going here. Full speed again. Now, actually, I wanted to show you. Pressing escape on the keyboard brings up the options here. So, this is a bit of controls for you. Options. Graphics. We have these. These are the menus are all like. We have view distance and post process and field of view is currently set to 90 degrees. I haven't altered any of these. These are default for me. I'm not quite sure why it went blue, though. Hmm. Did it last time I came to the game as well. I went into the graphics and then I came out and everything went blue. Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, you've always got the audio in case the music's loud. I'm at 40% music. It wasn't like 90%. It was way too loud. Uh, tell me anything about the music level. Is it okay? I can put it up a bit higher if you guys like it. But uh, there we go. We have all the dis disabled. The station announcements is off. Uh, Volbo's ship computer is set on. So you know, it talks about everything. I like it to be talky-talky. Uh, 
Thank you, options. But we've got things like gameplay. Now, this is why I always recommend you do this. Go to gameplay. You get this Sator factor. It's at six times. Take it to ten. Take it to ten. It'll save you so much hassle in the future by able to go faster. Um, I don't think any of these really need to be changed. It's up to you. I mean, if you prefer a numerical... I mean, look, watch these numbers here. But if you prefer a numerical update, then have a numerical update on your shield and stuff. War reports and all sorts of warp tunnel. I've turned it off because it just... The warp tunnel just adds a bit of delay when you're going through the warp gates. So, you know, it's up to you. You've also got network warnings and turret commands and all sorts of useful way the game changes for your actions. Um, also, you can pause, save and all the normal stuff. And controls. Now, I am going to change a control. Uh, one that's annoyed me from the very beginning game. Is... One second. I just... Stop the ship because I have a feeling I'm going to crash if I'm not paying attention. Controls. Now, the thing is, to move the game around, you use the cursor keys, and WASD is uh, basically your. I don't like that. I'm changing that right now. So, like I said before, it's not the nicest game for the menus, but I kind of like them. Uh, you get used to it after a while. So much configuration, though. So, look at all that. Right, game. Give me game. So, uh, there we go. Your left, right, which is the left and right on the keyboard, and we have pitch up and down, which is there. Uh, we have uh, WASD, uh, the strifes. I don't want these to be strife. So, A, remove the control. This is strife left. That can be the number key, uh, left arrow. And it also comes with one. It conflicts with the yaw. Well, yeah, I'm happy with that. But uh, notice how the yaw is still left. So, we've got to be careful. You can actually double up. Strafe right. I'm going to say, can I put them in? You can't remove an individual character. So, uh, joypad 11 also. Remove them and strip right. Also conflicts, but if I do my joypad, joypad, thank you, and go. Well, that helps. <laughs> Escape. Uh, clear controls. Well, the joypad's not going to be used anyway, so not a problem. It didn't make sense to control. So, strip right. Uh, let's see, strip up will be the up arrow. Remove those. Strip up. And strafe down, remove those controls, and strafe down. So now strafe controls are done by my cursor keys. And then over here, for pitch up, I can clear that and go pitch up will be S. Pitch down will be W. Your left will be A. And your right will be D. So that's my basic controls now set up. So if we just leave this menu, yes, we want to save our custom controls. Now my WASD does what I want to do. It's a little bit sensitive still, but that's why you use the uh, mouse most of the time anyway. Full speed, please. We aim for that. Also, if you press spacebar, you are on permanent uh, follow mouse mode. So that's useful. Okay, combat. Right clicking. Fires your weapons. These are your weapons. And you see, 99%, and these weapons will never drain. Oh, by the way. Space Fuel Distillery M Beta. Thank you. We are close enough to that to pick it up on radar. This one's over here. Is like, oh, Space one. Fuel Distillery M Alpha. Right, so let's go to Beta since we nearly this Space first. Fuel Distillery M Beta. Okay, so we want to just to get back to the stations in a moment. So to win in combat, if you press space by the mouse will follow, the gateship will follow your mouse. If you don't press that, you can use joypads pads or uh, curse keys to keep going and use your mouse to target the weapon. If you're in follow, then the ship will follow and the guns will also track. If you're not in follow, clicking the mouse will also do the same thing. There you go. Right, space stations. Trading time. So what you can do is two ways of doing this. One, you can go click, comms. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. And request permission to land. If you do that, it will say, yeah, sure, come and land. <clears throat> not a problem. Um, but if you're being chased by pirates or whatever, Landing manually is the fastest way to land. Now, that being said, if you want to land automatically, autopilot, dock, which is either click on the craft and do dock, or shift and D. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Thank you, autopilot. Oh, by the way, we have a mission here with a little bricks. This is a construction mission. If I just do comms... You are talking to the... Is there something I can help you? Glad you called. I've got something that might interest you then. I need someone to build me a station. Transmitting information now. now. Do you want the job? He says, he can, hey, if you build me a station, 
I will pay you six million credits. You got two hours to do it. The thing is, he wants a Argon Shield production facility in a particular location. We haven't got anywhere near the money to build that, so no. But uh, he wants it now. Before we do anything, these little dotted lines here, you can see, these are actually landing lines. And the ship is saying, "Hey, the station is saying, hey, fly into these and then dock with me." I'm going to do a time acceleration because I really should have done this earlier. Time acceleration. Hello. And dock. These are the docking clamps, by the way. I've set it up to also save every time I dock at a station just because Successfully it's docked. convenient. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. And I Connection thank you for your to local trading network established. Okay, so we can go to battery, where I can say, hey, I've got this and you've got that, and normal battery between me and other ships on the station. I can talk to people on the ship, on the station itself, and do stuff. If I've got other ships of my own, I can dock with them. There's my uh, buster. Please note that any space weed consumption aboard this station is against the law. Yep, yeah. and the computer is very talky talky. I like this computer. Right, so trade. That's what we're here for. We have 1,000 credits. Whiskey is never traded openly by members of the Argon race. Thank you. It is known as space fuel and is smuggled in containers known as fuel tanks. As only few stations have a trading concession. Okay, so like you said there, it's space fuel. It's uh, very rarely regulated, doesn't get traded, and yeah, it's basically illegal. Uh, this station, by the way, makes space fuel. They need energy cells and dexillion wheat in order to do it. They're looking, running low on energy cells. They've got 350 out of 10,000. So if you can supply these, you can make this produce better. But it's at 737 right now uh, because they're running about half stock. We have a thousand, so we can buy one unit. The way they do trading, they can either this is your trade balance. Red is your hull that you have on board, your cargo, and this side is what you can buy. Click and buy. I can get chip one, and if my hull, the market goes down by that. If I can sell, it will be the other way. But I don't have anything to sell. You can also use the cursor keys for a more accurate way of doing it. And you can see there, I have one thousand and plus zero. If I try and buy one, it'll be. I have 268 plus the 132 I'm going to send them. Okay. Space fuel bought. Thank you. Uh, also, we have a rank of Agon Citizen. Now, here's the thing. If we go back to a map and we say, hey, show me the local... By the way, these little letters on the end of the shot keys. If I press full stop, it brings up my local sector map and say, hey, remember that little station we passed earlier, the uh, free Agon trading station? Could you... Uh, Docking granted. Dock with Autopilot that activated. Thank you. So this, the ship is immediately going to head to the Argon Trading Station. Remember I said earlier, the Argon Trading Station trades in this uh, this, this uh, space fuel. It's illegal, so it's profitable. So let's just walk there at full speed while we, um, by the way, we're now at 1,000 speed because we're that's 10 times. Now, bear in mind, it is illegal to carry this good. So if you're trading in it, you will eventually get scanned and the police in the air will shoot you. Uh, my advice is to not get shot at. You can do this in two ways. One is look ahead of you. You can see this thing here. This is a big spaceship that's circling the area. This is a guard. It's one of the patrol ships. There's also another one down here, as you can see. And then there's these guys. Argon. Civilian ship. Thank you. Little ships that fly around. Argon. Civilian ship. Sometimes they're not civilians. Sometimes they're military. If they're military, they will scan you. If you get scanned, they will shoot and destroy you. If they shoot and destroy you, well, yeah, it doesn't end very well for you. You can actually respawn. That's not a problem. Um, but, uh, yes, don't get caught, basically. Now, we bought that uh, stuff for 737, I think it was. In this station. Docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Thank Connection you. to local trading network established. D for the trading network, by the way. Argon cloth is one... Space fuel sells for 1,252. Argon whiskey is never so if we sell it, by uh, of boom, the Argon sell, race. we will make 1,520. That's 520 profit of what we started with. Space fuel sold. And we've been promoted to an you Argon Federation. Recognition. Thank you, yes, I've just been promoted. So, great. So what we do now is, well, Docking granted. we go back. Autopilot activated. Thank you. We go back to the station, we do a few more trade runs, earn a bit of cash, and get some stuff. Now, there are many of these guys here. Ha, 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 you two. Argon. Police. Buster. Yeah, they're the police crafts. They're the ones to watch out for. If they scan you, and you have... What's that? 
Argon civilian ship. Yeah, if they scan you and then you got the, and you got the goods on you, you're in trouble. There's two ways around it. One, well, three ways. You can destroy the police or try and fight your way out. You'll earn a, a notoriety because of that, and not a good notoriety. Two, you can um, fight that. Um, you can drop the cargo by just dumping it. If you do that, they will destroy it and you will not lose the value. Not space fuel distillery. M Alpha. Thank you. Uh, so be careful when you, if you dump it, they will do that. And also, if you're close enough to the station and you can do a manual docking, you can get away with not having to worry about it. If you get in the station before the aggro, even though you've been scanned, you'll get clicked. When you come out of the station, you'll have the stuff on you. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Okay, so Space Fuel is now 585 at this station. This is the other station. This one's actually cheaper. So if we try to buy it, insufficient credits. I can buy two. Now, if you look here, down it's a ship two. Space Fuel. Bought. Oh, by the way, even though we're docked and we're actually docked up. You see, the actual another ship here has just come in and docked, so the universe continues on even though we're docked. It doesn't just stop because we stopped. So we just set another cost back to the trading station. Docking granted. There we go. Autopilot and we'll time accelerate it because it's just life is easier to time accelerate everything. There we go. Keeping an eye out for the uh, military ships, they will be patrolling the area at some point. There is one. Whoop, gone past us. Uh, the little symbols kind of gives away what they are. If they have a little triangle above them, they're usually military. If they don't have the triangle, they're usually pretty good. If you see a uh, ship, you can always go around them. You can always... I've done it before. Oh, there's a couple of guys scanning the area between me and that station. I'll go wide, get them a chance to get out of the way. So, you know, there's different ways around it. But the game is definitely a slow game. I mean, there's some military ship... Oh, crap. There's... Look at this lot. Plutarch, weapons dealer, Baron, courier, Plutarch, escort, Plutarch, escort, Okay, Buster. we're fine. They're not our military to worry about. So we can get in there without any problems. Dun, 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 dun. Be very careful when you play that before, when you get near these ships. If they are the local police, which are bot, um, the Baron, no, the local police are the Argons in this sector, then you're in trouble. The game is gorgeous, by the way. Look at the graphics. And this is a 19... No, no, no. 2005, 2008 no game. Aim. I don't know. Free it's it's an oldest game. But it's, it's like it. I, I love the game. Back into the station. Successfully docked. On behalf of our Sell that. To local and now we're at 2,600. So we've actually made double the money we started with. Just by getting to there. Docking granted. So they kept it forever. The station will run low. And we have to go into other stuff. That's just the initial part of the game. Get yourself some early cash to build to buy more better stuff. And then do missions. Now what we do, if you're interested guys, let me know and I'll play some more of this. And I'll even do some missions and stuff. And show you where some of the uh, hidden ships are that you can just go and, go and grab. And more of the in-depth stuff. But I love the game. So it's all about actually just flying in space and doing space missions. Uh, yeah. It is X3 Albion Prelude. A very interesting game, in my opinion. In fact, I'm gonna, not going to go there. Autopilot off. Actually, no, I will. One second, I'll Space show you this. Fuel uh, docking granted. So, uh, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to show you the difference. Remember last time it was like 500 credits when we were there last time round? Well, it's going to be a little bit higher this time because we bought a load and other people have been buying stuff as well. I mean, you can see other ships docking at the same time. We're flying towards it. So if we go in and dock... Successfully docked. It's now 585. And we can buy four. So yeah, I'm going to do it one more time. I'll probably get caught by the police this time because I'm pushing my luck. Right, I time it so that you might not have spotted it. But a ship undocked at the same time we undocked. So we took a right whack. And when you look at us, we're, we're down to half hull. Um, our shields are back to full. Our speed is limited to 49 meters per second. So we're very, very vulnerable. We took a whack. That's very rare to take a whack coming out of a space station, but it does happen. Um, there's a lot of police around here right now. Hopefully, at our slow speed, they won't pay too much attention to us. But there are different ways to repair the ship. And I can show you those later on as well, if you're interested. But that's the basic game. Uh, trade, fight, it's all good stuff. I will probably do some more combat missions later on. But if you're interested in seeing more of the game, let me know. Um, like I said, but you can't actually um, land at the planets because it's uh, all about space. But I kind of think it's interesting. Uh, like I said, the game goes on more, a lot more complicated. We have all of the uh, buttons up here, which is linking to like your property and your ships, the, the navigation menu, the current ship we're in right now with all of the advanced options. 
and other things like targets and stuff. It gets really complicated really quickly. So uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested and if you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you uh, did. Anyway guys, as usual, comments in the comments, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Successfully docked. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard.